Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will modify our audio to text converter and uh, we will add some more features to it like uh, downloading our translated file and uh, everything else. So first of all, uh, here I am just uh, creating a text area. I am thinking that uh, I will create this text area inside the form and I will create a download button on that form and whenever user clicks on that download button we need to download all the content which is present in this text area and which is obviously our translation of the audio so let's create here a form first so here I will go with the with keyword okay so with uh, st dot f o r m form okay and I will say my r e s u l t the keyword for this form will be result okay and uh, then I will put this uh, ST text area inside this form okay and here I will create a submit button ST dot S U B M I T submit form submit button okay but the text for this button will be something like D O W N L O A D download okay and then I will save the state of this button inside this uh, D sorry D underscore B T N variable and I will check that if my D underscore btn is true this means that if user clicks on this button then i need to process everything else so first of all we will actually create a text file okay and then we will put uh, the content of this text area in inside that text file and the reason why i am putting the content of this text area instead of putting this final result is that it is very obvious that uh, google will not translate the audio 100 percent correctly and the user need to make some changes in the text so user will make changes inside this text area and uh, that's the reason why we will get the final result of the user instead of using this final result okay so let's save the final result inside this re sult result variable okay and then here i will first of all create a text file so creating a text file in python is a very very easy process so first of all we need to write here another with a keyword okay so with and i will say open and open and then i need to define the path where i want to save my file okay and in this case uh, i will uh, use this path okay which is the default one and here i just need to define my file name and in this case i will go with like a tra uh, and script transcript dot txt t sorry txt okay and now when it comes to mod the mod is a very very important part in this case because the mod will actually create our file okay and uh, this open function basically provide us many different mods okay but uh, in this case we will use this w mod or write mod and the reason is that uh, this write mod basically allow us to create the file if it doesn't exist in that particular uh, directory and if it exists in that particular directory then it will override that file this means that it will change the content which is present inside that file okay so that's why uh, i will recommend to you that uh, you should use this uh, wr mode and uh, you can actually use here the x mode as well so there is a minor difference between the x mode and the w mode and that is the w mode basically allow us to override the previously existing file while x mode doesn't allow us the overriding feature okay but uh, again it is recommended that you should use here w mode okay and now once we are checking that if my this file exists then well and good if it doesn't then it will create that file and now i need to actually open this file as my file file okay and now i need to write my content inside this file okay so just write here file file dot write write okay and then here i need to pass my string okay and in this case it is it is obvious that we will pass our result okay so just write here r e s u l t result okay and now let's save it and uh, open the new terminal right here s t r e a m l i t streamlit and yeah here is our application first of all we need to select a file browse file okay audio sample open it and it's running it's processing let's wait for the operation 
and yeah here we have a form okay and this is our text area you can modify it and this is our download button so for now let's uh, make some changes like uh, this is an error which is stream lit streamlit okay and i will uh, test it using this audio sample just replace it with uh, a u d i o audio s a m p l e audio sample okay and now let's click on this download button and see what we will get okay so it's running this means it is processing okay so our process has done and now let's open the vs code okay and here this is our output now if i open my explorer and yeah here is our transcript txt file so double click it and yeah this is our output which is hello this is an audio sample for testing my audio i have made this application using streamlit okay so this is the reason why i have told you that uh, you should uh, use the final result of this text area instead of using this final result okay so streamlit and uh, I, I will test it using this audio sample okay so it's very very good awesome result whenever you jump into real world problems then uh, you will know very well that whenever you click on the download button on any website uh, your content is downloaded in your downloads folder okay so we need some sort of a uh, code which will actually uh, download our this txt file in our download folder now you know very well that uh, if I use my uh, default location of the download folder then uh, that will not be your default location because download folder location is directly related to your user profile location so if you have a different user profile location then you will have a different download folder location and in that case you will get an error so how to solve this problem so the solution of this problem is simple uh, we, you need to get access to your environment variables okay and uh, inside the system environment variables uh, the windows has already defined your user profile location so if you can access user profile location then obviously you can access the download folder as well and in this case we will also access our environment variable and uh, we will extract the user profile location and from that location you we will get access to the download folder okay and for this purpose uh, we will use the os library or module of python which is a built-in module okay so just to write here uh, I M P O R T import OS okay and now first of all we need to get uh, access to the environment variables of uh, whole system okay so here um, I think uh, down here I will say that E N V I R underscore V A R environment variables is equals to OS dot E N V I R O N environment. Okay, so now this line basically return us a, a whole dictionary of all environment variables along with the keys and values. Okay, and uh, if you print this uh, E N V I R O N variable, you will see the result. Okay, so I print E N V I R. Okay, environment variable. Let's save it. Okay, and uh, I think for now just uh, comment this part okay comment it let's save it again okay just come to the application let's rerun it browse file okay so open this vs code and yeah these are all my environment variables as you can see this is our enviro okay and this this is a dictionary and as you can see this is a keyword and this is a value okay so we have bunch of bunch of keys and values okay so i do not need to extract all of these uh, environment variables i'm only concerned with the user profile location okay so how to get the user profile location so process is very simple now once you have all your environment variables you just need to write here dot get okay get and then inside this get function you need to define your key and in this case my key is user profile okay so just write here u s e r user p r o f i l e user profile okay and let's save it again and uh, let's refresh it okay let's refresh it and let's browse the file again open okay just open your vs code okay and yeah this is my 
user profile location c slash user slash omer okay so this is my current user profile location and if you write this line you will get a, a different user profile location now here we need to add one more thing okay and that is slash downloads okay so which is the folder name and uh, this is how you can access the downloads folder of uh, any user okay so here i will save this whole line or this whole location inside this uh, usr underscore loc variable okay and then inside this uh, usr underscore loc variable i will make some addition okay so i will say loc is equals to um, usr underscore loc okay plus and i will say uh, slash d o w n l o a d s downloads okay so this is my folder downloads folder name okay and then inside the download for inside the download folder uh, i will create a transcript.txt file okay so just write here slash and then T R A N S C R I P T transcript dot T X T okay but here you will have an error and that is this slash t basically allow us to give a tab okay so in order to solve this problem we need to write here slash another slash okay so now this double slash will basically allow us to create only one slash in the output okay so here just make sure that you should put this double slashes and then your transcript.txt file name and now let's uh, uncomment this part okay and now instead of uh, writing everything like this i will just pass my this location variable here okay so just write here loc location okay and uh, let's save it and here i need to pass a label for this uh, text id as well and i will say txt text okay so not small capital t e s t text okay now let's save it again and now let's see the final output okay so let's refresh it mm, browse file sample audio now let's make some changes just correct the errors okay stream l i t stream layer. just remove this indentation okay and uh, let's write here uh, a u d i o audio S A M P L E I do sample just give a space just make this s capital okay and let's click on this download okay so our process has done and now let's go to your download folder okay so this is my download folder and as you can see here we have our transcript file so just double click on this transcript file and yeah this is my output okay so hello this is an audio sample for text for testing my text and i have made this application using streamlet and i will test it using this audio sample so how simple it is to download anything from your streamlet so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye